Hi there guys and welcome to another EDH Geeks video! So today I'm having a quick discussion about uh, when a casual player like me uh, builds a CEDH or a more competitive deck. Um, I haven't really ever sort of done this sort of thing that much before. I've had decks where um, some people have been like, "Oh, what's your combo? Or what, what, what do you, what, you know? How do you win?" And da 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 da, and all this sort of stuff. And it, it, I've, it, like, again, I've even had people um, be telling me, "Oh, you can do this and do the blah 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 blah, and, and this and that, and oh, this looks scary. Rah, 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 you can do all this stuff." And I'm like, "Cool, whatever, great, cool story, bro. Needs more dragons, you know? <laughs> like, stop, stop telling me." everything that my deck apparently you reckon my deck can do or whatever you know like oh you must have be running this or you must be running that or blah 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 and all this other stuff i'm not running that and you, they're like what um they doesn't make any sense to them to be like this isn't a cdh deck or whatever because there's just so, every deck that they've seen is running some combo and most of my decks don't run any combos at all. I don't really like combos that much. Uh, I really like big dumb stuff mostly. Uh, I'm a very Timmy player in that way, I guess, but I just like sitting back and having fun and just enjoying the gameplay more than like actually trying to win that much. I just enjoy talking to people and having that social aspect to the game. But I started feeling more and more like, well, there's so many players running these more competitive, more powerful decks, and I'm never going to have um, a chance against them. You know, even even just like playing my re just by playing my regular sort of decks, it's just not fair to me uh, to sit there and play a you know six or seven deck against somebody's. Oh well roughly maybe towards a seven deck against somebody's seven to eight to nine deck you know it's just not going to be fair to me so it's just one of those things where it's it is one of those things about how power creep is a thing in metas as well i guess it's sort of like oh well you're running this so i've got to run something more powerful i've got to run something that shuts your strategy down or whatever but it's just one of those things when you go to different places and you meet different people you never know what you're gonna get and it's always one of those conversations where you go well i just want to play my fun casual decks for the most part if but if somebody's like pulls out their you know urza deck or something or you ov obviously pull out a deck that looks like it's well this is more powerful obviously and they start playing or even if you play the game and you just realize halfway through that they're actually just playing a very powerful deck that you go well that wasn't very fun i'll pull out my more powerful deck now you know like and they're like oh yeah we really didn't have that conversation which is another thing i think a lot of people go oh well it's a, you know it takes only a minute to have that conversation but you know a lot of people just don't have it because a lot of people assume to think that a lot of people are on the same wavelength you know of what they want so it's just one of those things where I think you almost always need to have that discussion. But anyway, like, so what happens when a casual player like me builds a CDH deck? Well, all these sorts of things are going on. Um, like I said, you know, the meta's always a bit different and you always want to be able to play whenever and wherever you can. And it's one of those things. It's just like, well, eventually you need a deck that's a little bit more powerful. And I think you need also a deck that's probably a little bit less powerful as well as what your quote unquote normal decks are. You can have your fine and powerful decks that are normal power decks. But I think if you're ever going to find a bunch of new players, which there will be, or just even more casual players, I would say you need that less sort of powerful deck um that's probably roughly a pre-con area sort of deck or just a little bit less powerful it can still do some really powerful things but it's just a little bit less powerful uh in terms of how much you know recovery it has or how much you know it can get out so quickly and whatever else um how much it ramps and things like that and you know that's fine and fair enough so i think this whole conversation of people have about oh 
CDH or whatever is the only way to play, or you know, casuals the only way to play, and or it's and it's Ash casuals versus them competitive. It's, no, I don't think like that. I think everyone should be allowed to play the game the way they want to play it. It's not usually the way I want to play the game. It's just I want to play a casual, fun game mostly, for the most part. You know, sixes and sevens. You know, in that area, above a pre precon at least. Um, I never want to play beyond, you know, the seven level that much. And if somebody brings a eight or nine or ten to the table, it's kind of like, oh, well, either we all have to play an arch enemy game or we're just sitting there watching somebody storm off on turn two or three or whatever uh, because none of our decks will have that level of consistency to, um, you know, compete with that sort of thing but even this more competitive deck which is built around a uh, Joro Weatherlight Captain I believe it is or whatever her name is uh, that I've been building is not nearly that powerful it still has uh, some insane turns but um, you know it doesn't combo off on turn two or three it can sort of do its thing um, more quickly and more powerfully than the other decks that I've got but it's probably a seven or eight somewhere in there it's much more focused going towards opt optimized um, and it just has a lot of things that you know make it sort of keep keep going and you know as long as you've got your commander and enough draw power and a thing that will ping people eventually you can find enough artifacts cheaply to cast to um, kill people with the damage that you've got on board by just your pingers or if you can find the one card that basically just goes infinite then you just like kill the table with one card and event hopefully eventually you can just dig towards it but again I'm not running that many tutors in this deck um, but I would like to run more effects that basically um, mean that I can dig through my deck faster and easier and that sort of thing a little bit because I still want this deck to be fairly competitive just not like super competitive I just don't want to be sitting there being like well I can't really do anything against these real competitive power decks um, you know I just want to be you know in the race at least a little bit sometimes and be able to affect things a little bit at least um, sometimes if you ever happen to run into that situation where you are just like oh well someone brought a really powerful deck this time and I'm you know not a big fan of just sort of sitting there and not being able to do anything about it I really want to be able to play the game and I don't want to you know not have a good time in playing the game so you want to be able to compete with these people as closely as possible so that's been what's been going on with me building a competitive deck or a more competitive deck so Hopefully it will work out pretty well and uh, be happy with the result as it comes along. Um, but we'll have to wait and see and uh, maybe it will be really, really good. And I've had a game or two with it so far. Um, but I'm still trying to get it a little bit better than what it was um, and fight a few more cards for it. But there we go. Uh, anyway... Thanks for watching this video and hope to see you again soon.